Let's take a look at a uh, bilateral switch. An SN74 LVC 1G66. Okay, so this uh, this is an analog switch and it's designed to operate between 1 1.65 volts to 5.5 volts VCC. Now, the device permits bidirectional transmission of signals with amplitudes up to 5.5 volts peak. Okay, so here's a logic diagram down here. Our switch is from A to uh, B here, and it'll pass a signal in both directions here. And it's controlled with uh, pin 4C here. So when that goes high, this closes, and it'll per uh, transmit your uh, signal. Now, it's... Uh, Fairly fast, 0.5 nanoseconds is the speed of it, and uh, the on state is about 5.5 5 .5 ohms on state resistance there, you know. So they use it in audio, video, signal routing, uh, uh, analog to digital conversion systems, and digital to analog. Uh, so it's a, use, a useful little chip uh, to have in your, in your arsenal there. So we'll take a look at it over here. Here we are here so i set it up and just gonna i'm gonna give it a try so here's c and if we put that high it uh then uh, a and b close together and it permits our signal to flow so for our signal what i'm doing is i have a um, i'm gonna have uh, a here i'm tied that to a couple leds one goes to uh positive and one led is tied to negative there and if b goes uh, positive then this LED is going to come on, and if it goes negative, then this this LED should light here. So they should, and then, in order to uh, do this uh, automatically, I put a little five 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 timer in here. Now, the timer I set up for you know, well I tried to get it as close to one hertz as can in fifty uh, percent duty cycle. So uh, with standard size resistors and capacitors, I used a ten k here and a one meg here and a one microfarad over on this one here. This is a, a, a A-stable operation, just typical operation here. Now from five, I did put a, a capacitor from five to ground there just to uh, smooth it out a little bit, uh, make it operate a little bit better. You don't need that, but it helps. Uh, now the frequency, that's gonna be equal to 1.44, and uh, you divide, uh, into that you divide uh, R1 plus two times R2 times uh, the capacitance okay so uh, what's this 1.44 so you know we use these numbers all the time it's uh, kind of nice to know where they come from uh, so but in a stable uh, operation the charging and discharging happens between two-thirds and one-third VCC and the, the capacitor charging curve is exponential it's the same as the the compound interest and Euler came up with a number for that of uh, 2.71828 and that goes on forever it's an irrational number and so our RC time constant is going to be um, uh, the time to charge a cap up to 63% 63.2% okay and the way they got that was they took uh, a 1 minus uh, uh, Euler's constant divided into 1 and that comes up to 63.2% okay now we're not going to use that because uh, we're charging from two thirds to, to one third. So we take uh, the uh, uh, natural log of two thirds minus the natural log of one third. And if we do the math for that, it comes out to 0 0.693, okay? Now your natural log on your calculator is probably gonna be just log E, okay? Euler's number there. And if you take the natural log of two, that's the same as this one point, uh, or 0 0.693, okay? Now. 0.693 divided into 1 gives us our, our 1.44. So that's where we're getting our 1.44 from. Uh, it's just because the way we're charging the circuit and uh, with and we're using Euler's constant there. But anyway, we're putting out a square wave here. 1 hertz, 50% uh, duty cycle. And then we're going into this uh, uh, transistor here, just a 2N222, okay? So what happens here is that uh, when, when this is... Uh, low here okay this, this is off the uh, voltage comes through 1k goes over to b goes up to a and when our control switch is closed and then goes through this uh, led to ground and this led lights up here okay now when this goes high then this pin here this b pin 
becomes more negative than positive here, okay? So it goes to ground, and then this, this LED here can go to ground through B here back this way. So it, it flip-flops back and forth. So B is becomes a positive, then negative, and then positive, and negative. And this just uh, shows that it works in either direction. So I've got a setup over here. There we go. We'll give it a try. There we go. So it just, uh, you can see this is a little SOT uh, 23 there. And uh, I don't know if you can see my soldering job there. It's not too good. But anyway, it's working. And uh, yeah. So uh, this little uh, transistor trick here is just a good way to, to switch it back and forth. and But it's working. And uh, th these are nice little units to have for uh, controlling your uh, analog or digital uh, signals up to 5.5 volts. Okay. Uh, thank you.